Hello and welcome back to Made Simple. Today we're going to be talking about how to make a loan amortization schedule or table um, for your car. Um, so off a, a typical five-year car loan is what we're going to be covering today. And like always, before we begin, please subscribe, smash that like button. It really helps me out a lot and I would really greatly appreciate that. All right, so today's video is going to be very similar to a video that I've already done. Link in the description below. However, with that video, we use the example of a home mortgage in creating a loan amortization table. And I've had a lot of questions um, regarding, you know, how do I make the table shorter? How do I make it longer? Um, how do I do it for a car? So we're just going to cover that in this video today. It's going to follow a very similar format to the previous video that I have. Um, but just stick with me and you'll today you will learn how to create that loan amortization table for your car and what happens if you add extra payments each month to that loan to pay it off faster. Again, we're gonna need to start with the loan amount, um, interest rate, the N per or the number of years. Um, so let's say that we buy a $30,000 car, right? Nothing, nothing too crazy there, kind of a I mean, not, not a cheap car, but also not like a luxury car, right? And so let's say that we get, you know, interest rates right now are pretty good. Let's say we get uh, 3%, 3% interest rate on our, on our car loan. And we're going to do five years, like I mentioned before. That's kind of typical 60 months, five years is typical for car loans. All right, so using that information, we need to know the present value, the rate, and the number of periods or the end per. Um, and then that'll help us find our payment. And we'll just put that in yellow. Um, so our present value is gonna be that 30,000. Our rate is gonna be the 3%. However, we wanna turn this, we wanna put this into months, right? So right now our interest rate is, per, is annually. We wanna make it monthly. So we'll divide that by 12 and that will get us our interest rate each month. And then our number of periods, we will times that by 12 um, to get um, 60 months or five years. And then our payment, we're just gonna use a PMT function, our rate, number of periods. I mean, this is super simple. It's outlined here for you. Um, if I'm going too fast, just slow the video down and, and hopefully it'll make a little bit more sense to you. Um, and we're just going to put a negative in front of there so it looks nicer. But so our car payment would be almost $540 every, every month for those five years. And now what we do is we need to make the, the actual table. So that's how we figure out our monthly payment. Now we need to make our actual loan amortization uh, table or schedule, right? So we have periods um, and we're gonna use those as months. We're gonna have our payment that we have every month, our interest, um, forgot the T there, um, our principal, how much in principal we're paying each month, um, as well as if we wanna add that extra payment, how that affects the length of the loan and then our remaining loan balance will also be reported per month here. So number of periods we want this to be so we want this to go to 60. Um, so what we're gonna do is drop this down to whoop, a little too far here. Um, we're gonna go down to 60. Um, so 60 months we're gonna center that. Um, and this is the point in where you would be able to change it. For example, let's say that I had a six year loan or a 72 months. So you basically just need to change, I'll put that in green or something. You just need to change these values in order to update the table. And then if you change the period, so say you do six years or 72 months, you would then need to extend this. And then later on, you'd also need to extend the um, the other formulas as well to fill this, this space, right? Um, but let's just go back to a 60-month 
or sorry, I don't want to change that. Um, we'll go back to a five year, 60 month low mortgage. All right, so our payments are just going to be this per month, and we know that's going to be so we can drag that all the way down um, if we lock that properly. And what the lock does is it just says we just want it to say this each time because if we were to go down another row it would select this cell go down another row and select that cell and so on right so this way it's just selecting this for each one of those cells all right um and i did make a mistake here i'm going to need to add a extra um column i'm just going to move this down so this is period zero um and we need to put our loan balance here which will be thirty thousand. Um, and then that will be used to help calculate our interest. So our interest is going to be the remaining loan balance times the rate or the monthly rate, and we will lock the monthly rate. All right, so then our principal is just our payment subtracted from our interest, and then our extra payment will just say is zero for now. Um, and then what we're going to do for the remaining loan balance will be the previous month's loan balance and then we will subtract any extra payments and then we will subtract uh, the principal for the loan and then now that we have all of these formulas correct we can just drag those down um, or we can copy all of these formulas down um, and we're actually going to want to make that a zero um, and then we will copy this down um, so we'll have no extra payment as of now. And then at, at, at um, month 60, we're going to see that that's going to reach zero dollars, right? And so we technically don't need this. We could delete that. Um, however, if we keep that there and say we want to change this to a six-year loan, so 72 months, then we'll see at month 72, it will go zero. Um, and that's pretty much the meat of it. And, and so if we want to add that extra payment say we want to one month you know we get a little bit extra money or something that we saved a little bit extra we put five hundred dollars in at that first those first three months let's say right you'll you'll look down here and instead of 72 months we're going to be paying that off in somewhere between months 68 and 69 right um so we save about four months of payments if we uh if we add these three extra payments in the beginning. Um, so you can see how much faster, if you add these extra payments, you'll be able to pay off that loan. Um, granted, at a 3% interest rate, um, I mean, I'm not a financial advisor, but I, I would probably just, at such a low rate, I would probably just wait for the term of that loan because you're really not paying that much more in interest. I mean, if you look at this, I mean, if you look at all the interest you've paid over the 72 months, you're looking at $2,800, right? So that, that's a little bit more money than you'd want to pay. But if you divide that by 72 months, you know, you're only spending an extra $40 extra on a month to own that car, right? And that allows you to have extra money to spend elsewhere. Rather, if you were to put that $500 here, here, and there, yeah, your interest would, the total amount of interest you paid would go down, but you wouldn't have as much money those months to use for other things that you might need. So just things to, to keep in mind. But anyways, that, that is the, that's pretty much the bulk, the basics of that. It's super simple. If you have any questions, leave a comment, smash that like button, and please subscribe. I would appreciate that greatly. All right, have a great rest of your day and, and enjoy.